Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm the little foodie and today we're going to be making uh, little peanut butter uh, sweets or chocolates, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we're going to be using a mold today. If you don't have a mold, don't worry about it. These can literally be done in anything, depending on what size you use or depend the quantity you can get. You can even use a little uh, fairy cake cup. You could even use one of these, literally anything you want. So we'll get started. Give you the ingredients first. So the ingredients you're going to need is one cup of dark melted chocolate or 175 grams. You'll need a quarter cup of coconut oil or 52 grams. I'm using 100% uh, organic coconut oil. Uh, you'll also need a half a cup of smooth peanut butter. That's very important. That works out at 125 grams and you'll need a quarter cup of honey, which works out at 85 grams. And that's basically all you're gonna need. Um, so we'll get cracking with this, and uh, we'll do the first part, we'll do this in two parts, just to show you how it goes. So we'll get straight into this. So I'm just gonna put a board down here. Okay, and I've just got some water in this, as usual, just a Pyrex bowl, uh, and this has just been on simmering. So. All you're going to want to do now is literally get your chocolate, pour the chocolate in, and then you're going to want the coconut oil, which I have here, and we're just going to put that straight in. So that's it in, and that's the first step. So I'm just going to take this over to the stove, and we're going to melt it down with a spoon, and then we're going to come back. I'll, I'll show you what it's like. And we'll get this into the mold. That'll be part one done. And then we'll get straight into part two. Okay, so that's the chocolate melted. Just be careful. I have a board here, obviously because the pot's gonna be hot and you don't wanna burn the surface. So I'm just gonna lift this out using a tea towel because it will be, will be hot as I burnt myself in a previous video. So that's a consistency there of your, of your chocolate and your coconut oil. So then just off to the side here, I have a a little jug which I'm going to pour this into and then just scrape the, the sides just get this moved out of the way okay and then I have my little mold here uh, I think I picked this up it was either from Poundland or Home Bargains I'm nearly sure it was Home Bargains uh, really inexpensive. I think it was a pound or two pound at the most. Uh, works really well for these. So um, if you don't have one, don't panic. Just use this. Like I say, you can really put these into anything. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to put a little bit of chocolate on the bottom. Just make sure you leave enough chocolate to cover the top of these as well. Don't worry if you spill any, it doesn't really matter. So I'm probably going to do nine of these and then keep some just to uh, show it, show the different versions of it. So that's pretty much your chocolate in. And don't worry, like I say, uh, it doesn't have to be even. Um, I'll just hold these up to here so you can see them. As you can see, mine are not. Uh, even so all we're going to do now is we're going to put these into the freezer now it won't take long yes we know chocolate doesn't like the freezer or the fridge but this is the way we're going to do it because it'll help them to set really really quickly and then obviously when we go on to do the next step which is a peanut butter you want them to set so the peanut butter doesn't actually uh, drop through the chocolate so i'll get these in the freezer and then we'll come back again guys we'll show you the second part and uh yeah, we'll, we'll be nearly finished and you should be good to go. We'll come back then and uh, we'll show you them. Okay, so as you can see, this is now set. So literally we're in there, I would say just over five minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna set these off to one side and then we'll do the next step. So same again, I have my board down. I have my bowl over my pan. Into that now, we're just gonna add the peanut butter. And then to that, we're gonna add the honey. And it's the same process that I did with uh, with the chocolate. So all we're gonna do, we can take this back over to the cooker. 
we're going to put it on until it's melted and once it's melted then uh, I'll bring it back show you that we'll get these on and we'll get them back into the freezer and then we'll finish them off so I'll see you in a sec okay so that's that done that's the peanut butter and the honey melted I'll just move this out of the way just move this over be careful folks if you are doing this with the kids obviously you want to do this part yourself as the bowl is quite hot so all we want to do then it's over a bit closer just take some on a spoon just put it into the mold like I say it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't really matter so then we'll just get these filled Got in, just give them a bang, just like that. And we'll just continue to fill these. Your kids are your kids are definitely going to love you for making these, and I'm sure I'm sure if you do make these with kids, <laughs> you'll be getting roped into making them quite regularly, as I do. But hey, that's the way it goes. So we're nearly done here. And again, they don't have to be even. As you can see, I've still got quite a lot of mix here left. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this to one side. And then again, I'm just going to give them a tap. You can see if you've any mess over the top, just give it a quick wipe now at this stage. And then we'll get these back into the freezer. Same thing again, because the chocolate's already on them. This one has a little bit less in it, so tiny bit more in that uh, as it's they've already been in the freezer as I was saying so the peanut butter is going to set really really quickly in this so we'll just pop these back into the freezer again for maybe five or six minutes just until they're set we'll come back and uh, we'll put the chocolate on top okay so that's now the peanut butter set as you can see it's nicely set so I've just kept the chocolate that I was using earlier just off to one side as you can see, the chocolate still still hasn't went back to its original form. That's uh, the uh, coconut oil helps for that, so uh, you don't have any problems when you do sit it to one side when you're going through the stages of putting it into the freezer. So we'll just finish off topping these. And just fill these up to the top. So that's it, these nearly done. So what we'll do then is, we'll just pop these back into the freezer again. So it's a really simple process. And this should take literally five minutes. And then we'll come back, we'll get them out of the mold. I think my son actually wants to do this. So when I told him what I was doing, I've been trying to rope him into coming into one of the videos for a while. So I think I've managed to do that now. So he's the one that's gonna be turning these out. And it's literally once they are once they are set and ready to go, it's literally just turning them over and just giving them a good whack on the table. Uh, they might not all come out in the first go, but all you want to do again is just hit them again. Uh, but as you'll get to see, my son's going to be doing that process. So I'm going to get these into uh, the fridge, uh, or sorry, into the freezer. So I'll just pop these off into the freezer. They're actually already starting to set. And then for anybody that doesn't have the mold, quite simple. You, know, you can use a Yorkie tin for this. Uh, I have some oil here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give that a little squirt. Uh, I'm going to get the little paper cup, like I say, you can use anything for this. I'm just going to push that down and then push the sides up. 
that just helps to keep it down so it doesn't jump up so you can retain that nice shape and then it's the same process again just pour in the chocolate put it into the freezer wait till it sets same with your peanut butter and repeat that process just until you've got it filled let them set uh, and they're good to go just peel them off and they're good to go uh, so yeah we'll get back to that and we'll get back to the last part guys okay guys as you can see uh, these are just out of the freezer and I've managed to rope my son TP into doing these he's gonna turn these out so I'm the little foodie he's the tiny foodie and uh, yeah we'll, we'll let him get straight on to this there you go TP just turn them over and give them a whack not too hard just nice and flat go again and again and again there's one and again Hit it again. Okay, look, there's three. Here, look, push the top of this. Push it hard. Doesn't want to come out. Guys, as you can see, you might get stuck in, so look, give another tap. Ow! Oh, your ears. I guess. And we'll back these ones out here. Okay, one more go. Okay, two seconds to get these moved out of the way. This is, this is the fun part here. There we go. Oh, we lost one. Go ahead. Wait, what? It just stopped. Go ahead. Okay, that'll do that. So, guys, as you can see, they're ready to go, and there's only one thing left to do here now. And what's that? Eat them. Eat them. Okay, okay. grab one there. I'll take this one here. How's that? Nice. 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 So, guys, simple, easy to do. So it's goodbye from me. Yeah, bye bye. And it's goodbye from TP. See you later, guys. Bye. bye.